Here we're asked to solve an inequality. The first thing I notice is that we're going to have to apply the distributive property and multiply both the terms inside the parentheses by negative 5. That leaves us with 3 minus 5x plus 5 is less than or equal to 28. Same side like terms, 3 plus 5 is 8, leaving us with negative 5x plus 8 is less than or equal to 28. Next, we need to isolate the variable term, and we have a plus 8. In this case, I'm going to subtract 8 on both sides. That will leave us with negative 5x is less than or equal to 20. At this point, I notice I have to divide both sides by a negative number. If we divide both sides by the coefficient here, negative 5, remember that we have to reverse the inequality. Whenever you divide or multiply by a negative number, the inequality reverses. That leaves us with x is greater than or equal to negative 4. In other words, any real number greater than or equal to negative 4 will solve this original inequality. That's infinitely many solutions. So let's shade those in on a number line. Here I have a number line. And since this is greater than or equal to negative 4, that's an inclusive inequality. I'm going to draw in a closed dot and shade all the numbers greater than or equal to that. So there's a graphical representation of infinitely many solutions. Now we can write the equivalent using interval notation. Since we have an inclusive inequality and we're including negative 4 in the solution set, we use a bracket to indicate that, negative 4 to infinity. We always use a parenthesis on infinity. And that's the interval notation equivalent for all the solutions to the original inequality.